Bandwidth is only one metric that most of the industry measures itself on. How much through overall throughput do you have to your storage product? You know, numbers we've heard in the gigabytes per seconds or tens of gigabytes per second only tells a portion of the story. What really is more important is latency. The analogy that I use is throughput is the amount of lanes that is that you have on the freeway. This massive amount of throughput, 5, 10, 20 lanes on a freeway, is no good if you have a bicycle on it. The bicycle and getting traffic across that freeway is really what we're talking about latency. How fast can you get from point A to point B? So one aspect of that is within the network, having a well-architected uh, network environment that allows for very low latency transfers. But there's other parts of the equation that most people are unaware of at the storage layer and at the workstation level. On the storage layer, we address that through the pathing of the hardware within our system, how it is that we do a lot of our acceleration at a lower level in the software than maybe other companies do. Um, this is all geared towards reducing latency. So we are looking at throughput on the one aspect, which for most technology companies on the storage front is fairly easy to achieve, but really latency is, is the really hard problem to solve. And, and we have solved that at Open Drives. One of the ways that we achieve this performance is through intelligent algorithms that move data from the spinning disk level into our cache. And we cache both at the SSD level and at the RAM level, which allows data access to become instantaneous and you don't have to wait for it to come off of the disk. Um, we also cache all of our metadata in RAM, which allows access to that metadata in, at near instantaneous speeds. All that we've done within the product and in, in leveraging these ideas and technologies has created a, an environment within our product to really reduce latency. So one of the demos that we showed at NAB a few years ago was an 8K uncompressed playback. Now that playback occurs at 150 megabytes per frame, which is an individual file, and that file must be streamed at at least 24 to 30 frames per second to get smooth playback. The Interframe latency that is required for such playback needs to be 40 milliseconds or less. And what OpenDrives was able to do was to do an 8K uncompressed playback at 150 megabytes per frame, which equals 3.6 gigabytes per second. Uh, many other companies may be able to drive 3 to 4 gigabytes per second to a workstation, but they are unable to get the interframe latency to below 40 milliseconds in which that content is still unusable. The, Latency within the OpenDrive's product, really, we're measuring at the hardware level in microseconds, not even milliseconds, and in that aggregate latency reduction across the I.O. and how we're handling the software code and as well as the hardware pathing within the system really enables us to achieve this ultra-high performance from a latency standpoint as well as a throughput performance.